Okay, folks, welcome again. It's Professor Halizak with another video, this time installing Java Development Kit 1.8 on Mac OS X. First, a few words about Java. A Java program is written in the Java programming language and then compiled to what's called bytecode. The Java Development Kit, or JDK as we call it, is used to compile the program. The Java Runtime Environment, or JRE, is then used to run the compiled bytecode. The nice thing about this arrangement is that a program can be compiled on one operating system, but then run with the right Java runtime environment on any other operating system. For example, you could write a Java program on Microsoft Windows and then hand over the bytecode to someone on Mac OS X and they could run your same program using the Mac version of the Java runtime environment. So we're gonna use the JDK to run things like Oracle SQL Developer and as well as uh, Pentaho's data integration software. Now there are newer versions of the Java development kit and if you just uh, log into your Mac OS X and you try and run Java, it will offer to download and install for you the latest version. The trouble is this latest version is incompatible with Oracle SQL Developer and Pentaho data integration. So that's why we want to work with version 1.8. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to visit the website for the Java Development Kit. So I'm just gonna open up a web browser here. Ah. I think I must have left off the L. Let's try that. There we go. Okay, we need an L at the end there, HTML. Right, so this is the Java Standard Edition Development Kit. Uh, it goes by the number eight. It's really 1.8. This is just how they, they number it. All right, so we're gonna scroll down and we will look for Mac OS X. We see that Mac OS, this is the 64-bit edition, which is pretty much the only one that they offer. So I'll come over here and I will zoom out a little bit. You know, the page layout's a little messy here. Here we go. So it's JDK version eight, and then the U stands for update. And as of today, this is August 13th, uh, the current update for Java 8 is 261. By the time you're watching this video, it might change to a newer version. That's perfectly fine. As long as it's JDK 8, that's the one that we're working on. So we're going to go ahead and click on that link. We'll get a little message here about a license agreement. You can click that checkbox and hit the download button. Now, anytime we want to download files from Oracle's website, uh, it's going to ask us for a username and a password. And this is just for the oracle.com website. It is only used basically to download uh, software. So if you don't have an account on oracle.com, you can click here to create an account. It's quite painless, just the typical username and password and, and so forth, uh, and email address that they will verify with you. Since I already have an oracle.com username and password, I'm just going to sign in. Now, once we sign in successfully, we will see that our file is downloading. So I will pause our recording for just a minute while that finishes downloading. Okay, so at this point, we have our Java Development Kit installer, uh, version eight, update 261 and it should be in our downloads area. So let's see, let's go ahead and click on that. And it should hopefully launch. Ah, there it goes, I had to double click on it. I'm not a Mac user, so sometimes it's a little slow. Okay, so all that did was it just opened up this DMG file and now it gives us the installer package, which we can now double click on 
and launch the installer. We get a little splash screen here. Again, we're just making sure it's Java 8, that is 1.8, uh, and update 261 or newer, right? By the time you watch this video, a newer update number would be there. We'll click continue. It's gonna take about half a gig of space on your computer. Hopefully you have that free. We'll go ahead and click install. It will prompt you for your Mac OS X password, which is required to install the software and off it will go to put all of the packages in place. Okay, the installation was completed successfully. That's quite quick. We can just close out of that and it'll ask if we wanna keep that installer or move it to the trash. We don't need it anymore, so I'm just gonna move that to the trash. So we are done with this. We are done with our web browser for now. Now the question is, do we have it installed properly? And so to test this, we're gonna go to our finder and we will go into our applications area then into utilities. And finally, we'll open up the terminal app. Uh, the terminal app is very, very handy. It's something that you ought to get uh, used to working with. A couple of quick commands. This is very much like, uh, like Linux. All of the users on a Mac are in a folder called users, and then they go by their username. So this ought to be your uh, username. And if I just type java-version, that's a space in there, Java space dash version, we should see what version we have installed. And that actually looks pretty good. Java version is 1.8.0 and the update is 261. It's a 64 bit Java program, which is exactly what we want. We would not want to use a, a 32 bit. There's a few other interesting tricks that we can do here. If you have more than one Java development kit installed on your Mac. Uh, some of the earlier Mac operating systems used to come with one already installed. Uh, you can try this command. It's, I'll have it in my tutorials. It's um, slash user slash lib exec slash Java home. And it should tell you where the um, Java home is located. Right? The only other thing that we might wanna do is we may want to set this as a as an environment variable and the basic way we can do that is we can run this java home program and the results of it will be assigned to the java home environment variable so these are back ticks that basically tell the terminal shell, go ahead and run libexec java home program and then put, paste the answer of that into the java home environment variable. Okay, and then we can just double check that the java home environment variable has been set. And that's pretty much all we need to do. At this point, we can go ahead and download other programs like that rely on java such as Oracle SQL Developer or Pentaho Data Integration or any other Java program um, that will work with JDK 1.8. That's pretty much all there is to it. And I will sign off for now and catch you on the next video.